Sir, first of all, congratulations on the wonderful performance delivered in Animal. The film is getting fantastic response. I think it would be appropriate if I begin on that note. How does it feel to be receiving this kind of love and appreciation, admiration? I am so grateful to God, to my fans, to my audiences for giving me and my film so much love you know, and respect. It's like surreal. It's like I'm, I'm in a dream. You know, I, this is really happening to me, but it's, but it's happening, I guess. So I'm really happy. <laughs> Bhaji, I have to tell you one thing. Today itself, I read, Bobby Deol got the whole country groove to a song that no one know the meaning of. What was the initial reaction for you on that? I mean, I still remember when Sandeep explained to me how he's going to introduce me. He told me that he'll show and be completely distressed, tired, fatigued. Story lost the plot, and suddenly the frame changes, and my face comes smiling. And uh, I think San Sandeep is a magician. The way he makes, the way she, he creates these moments in his films, you know, it's just a simple old Persian song, which he found from somewhere. He had a year for music, and he just told me you have to dance. We had no choreographer, so I didn't know what to do. And uh, I started dancing. And he says, "No, no, no! I don't want it to look like Bobby Deol. I want you to look like the character." So I'm like, "I'm like, how do I do?" So I told Saurabh, who's playing my brother, I said, "Do karke dikha, do kya karega?" So he showed me a step. So I said, "Let me copy that." And then suddenly I realized when I was young, when I used to go to Punjab or anywhere, people used to all the men. Used to get together and drink and put the glass on their head and dance. So I was like, okay, let me try doing that, you know. And uh, never realized that this song will go so viral, and that dance step will become the in thing for everyone to put glasses and bottles on their head. I've even seen reels with dogs balancing bottles on their head. I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> But since you mentioned about the magician Sandeep sir, tell me about working with him. I mean, he's literally rewriting the way stories are told. And the kind of characters that he's creating, right? He is, you know. I still remember when he messaged that, "Hi, this is Sadi Reddy Wanga. I want to meet you." I didn't believe it because I never imagined. I mean, I've always, I never thought that someone I really want to work with would message me one day. So I found out, and it was him. And so I called him, and I met him, and then he met me, and he says, "You know why I want you for this film? Is because there's, he showed me a photograph of mine." And he said, "I like this for I like this expression in your eyes and this, and I want this from you in that character." Imagine he saw a photograph and he selected. This so photograph was of cricket match, right? If I if I'm yeah. correct here. Yeah, I was playing CCL cricket match, and uh, I always say, "Meri bekari ke din ki photograph kam aagi." And then, uh, but he is he is different because he so he has so much conviction in what he wants to do, you know, and because of his strong conviction, he can make. All the audiences believe what he's showing, and he brings the shades in characters which nobody, is, everybody's scared to bring out. So that's why I mean he just makes you want to like. I've met so many people who've seen the film already two three times. There's one lady who's seen it four times. I mean like there's so many of these kind of people who've seen the film so many times. It's just amazing. Baji, we have to talk about your co-actor, your friend Ranbir Kapoor. I mean, during the promotions, we saw the great bond that you guys shared, the love and respect for each other. And then on screen, we see you guys facing off each other. So, were you as floored as the rest of us with this performance? What do you have to say about Ranbir, the actor? He's phenomenal, man. He's phenomenal. There can't be another actor like him in the new generation. He is my favorite actor. But now he's even my favorite person because. He's a lovely guy who's such a big star and a saint, and he's so grounded, so down to earth, and so respectful, and so affectionate. You know, he's just fun working with him. When I was shooting with him, the fight sequence, I used to get mesmerized looking in his eyes. How brilliant an actor he is! And I believe you guys bonded on a lot of things. Parenting is definitely one of them, right? Tell us a little bit about that as well. <laughs> I mean, we were just talking about. His daughter, and then about how he proposed to Alia, and then me, my first child, how he was like he was delivered, what we went through. So it was just these things, and then we love shopping clothes, so we talk a lot about clothes, and uh, we like similar kind of food, so we used to talk about which restaurant to go and you know things like that. <laughs> wow, Baji, if I talk about your character, Abrar, I don't want to give anything away. 
but you do some wild and crazy things that are so unlike anything we have ever seen from Bobby Deol. Were there any initial apprehensions when you first read the script? No, I never thought of myself as a villain. I thought of myself as a hero because I thought of myself as a man who has been traumatized with the death of his grandfather who kills himself in front of him by burning himself, loses his voice and swears to revenge, take revenge for the death of his grandfather. But And also he's a very family-oriented person. He loves his family. He's romantic. He has three wives. And I just kept, I, that was a thought in my head, you know. And so when I was portraying it, that's why you feel emotionally connected with that character. Because he's feeling those things, you know. So that's how I portrayed it. And that's how, when, even when the climax fight was happening, you, you, was, you didn't know who to sympathize with. You know? It was like that. You know, and I think that is the way Sandeep wanted it also. So I'm glad as an actor I've been able to give that to him. You know, now when you tell me all these little nuances, such an intense film, such a complex character, was the atmosphere on set just as intense for you? Because I believe when you get into that zone and to maintain that character throughout, you need to have a certain, you know, mood, a certain zone around it. So what was it like on set for you? I was, I'm not like that. I, I mean, I don't like to distract myself too much by, you know, looking into my phone or things like that. I keep my mind on the character, but I'm not like someone, if I'm doing a serious moment, I'll be just be serious or things like that. I just like to be relaxed before I shoot. So I keep myself relaxed. You know, in fact, you mentioned in one of the interviews, like how you were looking to get challenged as a performer, but here you have to literally speak with your eyes and body language. So, I mean, was there a process behind this, any specific prep that you did for this anywhere, or was it the same how you approach any other character? No, I had to learn sign language. I mean, I did learn sign language for a couple of weeks. And uh, and we didn't do too many. I, I mean, I've forgotten all of that now. I had learned all the alphabets, sign language, you know, everything. I just really wanted it to look as if I'm actually not trying. It's just a part of my body language. And it was very important because I am not, because when I'm expressing, it had to look real. And I think... I really put a lot of effort into that. And, you know, Sandeep always says, sir, you put such hard work. You, you know, you learn the sign language and what a body you made. And I'm so happy, sir. Thank you so much. I'm like, you gave me the biggest break of my life after so many years. No one believed in me. I mean, yeah, Prakashji believed in me and gave me ashram. And uh, I think the magic of silver screen is, is something else. I mean, OTT, pay, OTT changed my life. I'm class of 83, ashram, love hostel. But Ashram, people actually notice me as what I'm capable of. And, and I'm always going to be grateful to Prakashji for giving me that chance. And now it's happened on the silver screen because my brother always says Ashram is like a gather for you on OTT. You know, it's such, it's the most watched web series ever. Till date, people still keep meeting me and saying, when is the next season coming? When is the next season coming? I'm like, I don't know. It will come. <laughs> So was that the kind of, you know, turning point in your career, that game changer that you were looking for in, the, in your filmography? It was. I think it's a combination of all the work I've done from then on. You know, Class of 83, people noticed my work in that. Ashram too went skyrocketing. And even when Love was still, when I did Love was still, people wanted to actually make a spin-off on my character because they love Dagar character so much. And now again, after doing Animal, people want to do a spin-off on... Abrar's character. So it's just, it just shows that people have actually, you know, this is all work for me together, not just one film. I think everything gets collected together and people start noticing you more and more. Well, we are definitely looking for all the spin off characters, as you mentioned. Baji, I think this conversation is incomplete if we don't mention how 2023 has been a fantastic year for you and your family. We got to see Sunny Paji, Dharam Ji. In fact, this year, all the three generations of Deos came together. Tell yeah. me, how are you guys feeling and dealing with this overflow of love? I'm telling you, it's, God has been really kind. You know, We're so grateful to our fans and the audiences for giving us so much love. We feel really blessed. I ask this on behalf of all the fans. We are all waiting for you, Sunny Paji and Dharamji to come back on screen together. Is that happening anytime soon? I know Apne 2 is on the works, right? It's still on the works. 
it's script is being worked on. It's still not ready. So I'm hoping it's written fast and we can do it. But right now, I can't say anything about it. Okay, Paji, before I come down to my final question, I'm going to make this next question a little tough for you. I know all your projects are dear to you and extra special, but if you, Bobby Deol, had to pick one project, one character that remained extra special for him throughout the years, which one would that be and why? My character from Dil Lagi, and that my name is Rajveer and Rocky. I told my brother, we have nicknames, so I kept both his son's name as my name in that. And I feel that is the most special movie to me till date. Nothing can cross that because I think my brother as a director brought the best out of me. Baji, coming back to Animal, anything you can tell us about Animal Park? Anything? I also didn't know there was an Animal Park at the end. I was, I, Sandeep never told me the complete story and he just told my part in the gist of the whole film. But then while we were shooting, he was like, we, we, we were planning to think making a sequel, but now we've killed your character. We're wondering why we killed your character. So then, but they're still planning to make a season two, part two, but I don't know where. Well, we are all praying you be part of it. Are you also like curious enough if you get to get a spin-off over there? I, I just want to work in every Sunday Radio Angla film. I wish I were part of all his movies.